The mission of the Community Collaboration Committee is to bring together young adults of diverse backgrounds to form a coalition to ultimately stand up in the face of hate and discrimination. Hatred manifests when people don't know each other. When you bridge those gaps and you break down those barriers, it's much more difficult to isolate people and their identities. It's really important to build the connections between different people to ultimately mitigate hate. We bring together all these different silos, communities that live in their own little pockets of Sydney but don't necessarily interact. And as youth who are going to form the future of Sydney, we really want to break down those barriers, connect with each other and work towards a more multicultural New South Wales where we have strong networking connections. I get to meet so many different people from different walks of life and it's really enriching and I think makes me a more wholesome person. When we started Youth Here, we held our first event for young adults to engage with Holocaust survivors at the Sydney Jewish Museum and about half of the attendees were not Jewish and it allowed us to identify that there was a bigger scope and role for youth here engaging with this audience. So very early on, the mission of youth here was to work with both Jewish and non-Jewish young adults to connect people with the memory of the Holocaust, but also to understand how it happened and the process by which hate and racial bias grew into perpetrating a genocide. And if we could understand that, then we could work towards actively a, making sure genocide and the Holocaust don't happen again, but B, calling out hate crime and racial bias at its lowest levels. In order to mitigate hate, to make sure that the Holocaust doesn't happen again, we have to be engaging with non-Jewish people to bring a sense of urgency to calling out racial bias. If you don't have some kind of group that looks to remember all the instances of hate and, and genocide around the world and through history, then people kind of become a bit numb and apathetic towards it. So it's really important to remember and to keep everyone engaged. In the last 10 years we've seen the statistics around racism and hate rise and I think that's exactly what this community does. It really speaks to those issues and tries to educate people around those issues and that's why it's so important.